All right, YouTube, I got something pretty neat working today. What I have here is a breadboard with the 555 timer driving a power transistor. And that power transistor is passing a square wave into this primary of my homemade mag magnetometer here. Uh, this is the primary ran like an uh, old ferrite ring. I'm not sure how many turns it is, but uh, it's probably close to 100. And this is the secondary, which is wound out of some very, very fine, probably 32 gauge wire or something. And there's probably close to four to 500 turns in there. And then that secondary is connected to these white, the white and yellow alligator clips here. And it goes to a full bridge rectifier and a diode. And over on the oscilloscope, the oscilloscope is showing the yellow waveform is what is driving the primary. That's what's going into the power transistor and the waveform that's, it's uh, getting close to saturating the core or somewhere in that region at least, I think. I'm not sure exactly. But this purple line here is output on the secondary. Now this purple line is not generated by transformer action. This is generated by the Earth's static magnetic field because we are technically removing the removing and adding back in that ferrite core really, really quickly. So it turns a completely stationary device into a generator, which is pretty interesting, I thought. Now, the output connected to this LED isn't lit because, well, the Earth's magnetic field is pretty weak. So, what I have here are a couple neodymium magnets. Now, watch what happens when I bring the magnets closer to the coil. Watch what happens with the uh, LED. It starts to light up. <laughs> That's because it's not generating enough power from a static magnetic field to produce electricity, which is pretty cool, if I don't say so. Now over on the oscilloscope, you can see that uh, the output on the secondary is actually pretty big. It's almost like three volts, a little over three volts, peak to peak which is not bad. The input is 12 volts, but it is drawing so little current it's not even registering on my uh, power supply amp meter. So it's not really drawing a whole lot of current because I have the, uh, this, the primary coil in series with this, I think it's a 110 ohm resistor and that is just to minimize the current but if I was to take that out it would get even more saturated but I think it's getting plenty saturated enough because I can actually generate a small amount of current now it does <laughs> get close to it and it reaches it does reach a certain point where it turns off right there just I'm not sure why it does that yet and then if it gets closed it turns on again <laughs> which is ah, fairly interesting but anyway why why do I think this is a big deal well not really a big deal but the way I think it's interesting is because there's no transformer action going from this coil to this coil, meaning that there is no power loss in this coil due to Lenz's law. There is no transfer of power. So we're not losing any power in this primary. We're only storing it up as magnetic energy, then we're releasing it. And right now it's currently just dumping through this diode right here. So we're wasting a lot of energy. We're wasting pretty much all the energy we're putting into it right now. But if we turn this into a DC-DC switching power converter, we could save almost all the power 
that we use to saturate this core. And we have the extra power from the static magnetic field. So if we could add those two together, the output may be close to or over the amount of power that we're putting into it. Now the goal is to find a design with this core here combined with magnets that can actually output more power than it takes to run it. Now, if I can do that, that'd be pretty, pretty big and very interesting. But anyway, that's all for now. In my next video, I hope to be con ch uh, changing this configuration so that it actually is acting as a DC-DC power converter and maybe one that gets almost close to 99.9% .9 efficiency or maybe 101% efficiency. Who knows? We'll see. That's all.